back at the bench today in the middle of this COVID-19 loveliness. Um, we're all, all stuck at home. Most of you are stuck at home, um, binging Netflix, playing with your kids, catching up on some house cleaning that you may have neglected, whatever. But I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you to pull out your everyday carry firearm, pull out all your firearms and give them a good look. Um, this is a stainless 1911. From here, it looks pretty good. The, the owner did do, you know, he did his cleaned, it is oiled. Um, but there's some things that even a stainless gun will rust. And I'm going to show you some things to look out for. So, anywhere where your fingers touch a lot that's got indentations, grooves, look at this. Looks fine. Till you turn it. Look at that rust hide in there. Looks fine. Rust. Other side. Looks fine. Rust. Stainless guns will rust. They just won't do it as fast as a blue gun. Set that back down. Let's look at another piece. So the frame. I've already done some scrubbing. But the, the checkering on the front. When you are firing this firearm, you're squeezing, you're pulling, you're shoving your saltiness into these lines. Salt sticks in those lines, it rusts. Just because it's stainless doesn't mean it will not rust. So anywhere that's got serrations, grooves, checkering, whatever you want to call it, and it gets touched a lot, Crack out your guns right now. Just just take a quick look. Look in here. If you have a 1911, look at your mainspring housing. I've already scrubbed on this a little bit, and you can still see orange spots that I have to go back and do again. These things love to hold salt. They're super aggressive. It's in your hand, just like that, when it's in your gun. It wants to do this while you're firing. What's it doing? It's pulling salt, dead skin, all that yumminess out of you and into here. Make sure you clean these things. Inspect them. Some 1911s will have texture, stippling, checkering, lines per inch, whatever you want to call it, even on the grip safety. Check it. Look in the nooks and crannies. Focus. Not today. Doesn't want to focus for me. Check your stuff, though. I mean, you don't have to tear it down to this point. This, you can see without taking it apart at all. You can see this without taking it apart at all. You can see that. A basic field strip will reveal your barrel link. Look inside there. Right inside, eh, focus, right inside here, flip the link over, look inside there, that dark, deep crevasse, clean it, clean your firearms, or they'll come here, and then I'll clean it, and I'll pull the rust out of it, um, if you want to bring your guns here, because you found... You know, you inspected your firearms, you said, oh my god, look at this, There, there's rust inside there, but I don't want to hurt my finish. You know, maybe this is a blued gun, and you don't want to remove your bluing, because then it'll rust really fast. If you want to bring it in here, um, because you found something wrong with your firearm, you know, you found some marks, or some burrs, or some obvious places where it's beating itself to death, and you want to bring it in, bring it in! Um, I'll look at it for free. It's not that big a deal. I can quickly say, mm, yes, this is rust. Rust is bad. I, I can do that. And then I'll quote you. You know, you want this pulled? You want me to pull this rust out? I'll quote you. I can probably do this without hurting your finish a lot easier than you can, just because I do this every single day of my life. Uh, I have the tools for this. I, I have the knowledge. Um, so I'm not saying that... You pull your gun apart and say, oh, wow, look at all this stuff. Well, what do I do now? Maybe I'll just take wire wheels 
and go to town on it. Don't please don't do that. Bring it in. It's probably going to cost you a lot less than what you think. So have a great day.